Students, good morning. Good morning, sir. Ah, that's better. Sounds good. So, what we are going to do today is the to see the effect of temperature on the activity of salivary amylase on starch. Now, you know that enzymes are proteins, and enzymes get denatured at high temperature, and they are rendered inactive at low temperature. They work best at an optimum temperature. The optimum temperature for enzyme action is 37 degrees Celsius. So you see we have set up three temperature baths. This is 90 degree. It's all, uh, we are keeping this water at 90 degree. This water bath is maintained at 37 degree and we have got a trough in which we have got ice so it is 0 degree so there is one gentleman here with us come come you come this way so this gentleman is here so that he, he confirms that the temperatures are like that touch it is it ice yeah huh? so we are maintaining it at ice 37 degree and this is at 90 degree now we will need three experimental tubes, three tubes. Hold it. So in these three tubes, we will take 5 ml of starch. Let me take 10 ml of starch. What is the problem? So 10 ml of starch in three experimental tubes. And 10 ml of starch in another tube. So we have added starch in them. Then in each one of them we will add NaCl. 1 ml of NaCl or 2 ml, 2 ml of NaCl. How much? 2 ml. 2 ml. So 2 ml in this one. So after this, we will try to take out sliver. I'll explain you the process how to take out the sliver. So I'll give it to your friend, Shreya J, to take out sliver. Come on. Take it? Take it. I you take it. And keep spitting on it. Come this way. And keep spitting on it. I will take it right to make out. Bring out. Thank you. Bring out. Keep on speaking. Bye-bye. 
divided to the ml of saliva in each one of them. And then you remember we made these atomic points to read the atomic points. I have taken three test tubes. And in these three test tubes, I will take iodine. You can again incubate 
eat them and get chicks. But if you boil the eggs, will you get the chicks back again? Is there any way? No. So in low temperature, they are inactivated. But at high temperature, they become denatured. And at our optimum temperature, they are acting best. So this was the experiment to show the effect of temperature on the activity of slivery amylase on starch. Fine. Excuse me sir. Yes. But the video is not clear. It is very blurry. What? What is not clear? But the video. The video is not clear. Okay. You I am making a video. You will get it. You will get it after some time. Yesterday's video I have already posted it in the uh, I, I will share the link of yesterday's video. Okay.